Second. We'll call the meeting of Monday, July 18th to order. Uh, would everyone stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everyone has a copy of the agenda in front of them, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, next item is introducing board members. I think uh, we don't have anyone in attendance here, so I think we have name tags. So I think we're everyone. We have a full board tonight. Thank you, Ernie. Uh, next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from July 13th. Uh, you all have received the copy on the internet, and uh, you have a card copy here in front of you. Uh, notice it's no marked draft right now. And uh, did anyone have any comments on the minutes that were provided? Mr. I'm Chairman, I don't have like, any comments on the on what, uh, on the mi minutes, but well, about the minutes, uh, not, not not to change them, but just a, a comment about the proceeding. But you don't maybe don't want that. You just want to know. Let's get the minutes approved. If you don't have okay. any comments on the minutes, and so I'll give moved. you the give you the opportunity. Uh, so we have a motion on the table to approve the minutes of July. What was it? Thirteenth. Thirteenth. Thank you. It's sitting in front of me, and I got nervous because I thought it might be the wrong date. <laughs> Is there a second? I second it. We got a second by Mr. Cotton. Further discussions on the minutes as presented. Any comments? Everyone okay with the minutes? Yep. And I'm going to ask for a, a vote. All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries 5-0. The next item on the agenda is the finding of fact and conclusions, written up by Ms. Rankin, who was uh, here as our attorney. Again, we, it was provided, it's also here. Um, I'm not sure that uh, it seemed pretty detailed to me when I read through it. I think she's probably got it worded appropriately to stand in court if it's so chose. Yes? Mr. Chair? Yes. Um, as Ms. Ration had asked, and there is a motion on your document if you find that the findings of facts meet your approval on the July 18th tentative minutes. It's at the bottom of the front page. Bottom of the front page on the on the minutes. On the minutes, yep. Okay. We needed to make sure all it was sections of it on the front page of the minutes of July 18th. Oh, okay. Here we are. Okay, so everyone can see on July 18th there's a motion. Everyone got it in front of them? Mm -hmm. uh, it says motion, motion to adopt, to vote, to adopt, or adopt as amended, and authorize the chair to sign the finding of facts and conclusions for, was it Aiden? Adnan. 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 El Dejari. Yep. Uh, so appeal. Does anyone want to move that, what I just read? I'll make a motion to move it. All right. We have a motion to move the, uh, what was read. Is there a second? Are there any seconds the motion? Anyone have any further discussion on the motion? on the table. No further discussion. I'm going to call a vote. Everyone that agrees with the motion, please raise your hand. Motion carries five to nothing. So, what we also have tonight is so that we don't have to come back is to approve the 
tonight's minutes because basically we're just the motions to formalize. But before we do that, Ernie, did you have something that you wanted to say? Well, uh, I do I want to clarify through the chair. Uh, is it is it okay if I mention things that happened during the time that, that, that everybody was here uh, as part of my comments? I'm not entirely sure. Um, what do you do? You want well, the to? Reason, here's my here's my thinking. It's it's sort of. Can it be just arbitrary so that it doesn't have? I mean, what I don't want to do is bring up anything to do with what we just passed as a motion. Uh, oh, you no, know, no, for no, the, no, the case no, in no, no, front no, of us. I, no, I'm in I'm in total agreement with our decision. Uh, my only comment, and stop me if I'm. Well, out of turn here. Don't get me too. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> my my comment is is simply this: uh, there's only two reasons for an appellant to make an appeal. One is they're looking for a variance of some sort. The second is administrative error. Okay, and in my maybe not so humble opinion, we got sidetracked into. Uh, maps and, and charts and so forth that it was clear to me anyway, I don't know about anybody else I'm sure, I'm sure it was because we just voted but uh, that <clears throat> uh, we took our eye off the, the goal which was did the code enforcement officer make an error because that's what he's appealing not whether or not this map is good, or this, the other one is good, or this needs to be tweaked, or even he admitted, well, if you just give me 10 more minutes, I'll have it all straightened out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I guess my point is, is that if we, ha if we had focused, which is, I think, the, the, the real crux of what the CBA exists for, to, to either adju to adjudicate, in a sense, we're quasi uh, judicial uh, board um, whether or not the variance was needed and that was not the case or there was an administrative error and there was no evidence of an administrative error from the almost the beginning so I was wondering we just got sidetracked in my opinion mm -hmm. I, yeah we went around in circles kind of. I, I, I agree that it probably went on longer but I think the dilemma that I see for us or for me as the chair is I want to give the appellant the opportunity to speak so that they feel like they've had a chance to justify whatever reason that they bring it to us and without a lawyer it's kind of an overwhelming task to stand up there and understand I mean I think we struggle with what evidence is necessary and so I think it's hard sometimes for the uh, person up there that's trying to def bring the case in front of us to understand what they need. I mean, they think it's obvious, you, you know, I, I've given you this. Well, yeah, but that doesn't show us anything. That piece of paper is not, you know, you need to have hard facts like you're talking about. You need to be able to show that you've not met whatever you're asking for. And that's not easy to do. And so I try to give them a little bit of leeway because I want them to feel like they've at least been heard. And then as you know, chances are they still, when it's all over, don't feel like they, it was just. I mean, that's one of the hard parts we have as an appeals board is someone's probably not going to be happy when they leave. You know, they brought something to us, the town has done something, the appellant thinks it's wrong. So if we, whatever side we decide is correct, the other side's probably going to walk away not happy. So, I, but I do understand what you're saying. And, well, and I'm just saying the need when you mentioned he need give him an opportunity to explain why the code enforcement officer made an error right and that wasn't that wasn't the thing that was mentioned he was accusing her of saying which is different he's accusing her and James for that matter a long list of things about uh, discrimination and a, a lot of other things but let's just he yeah never, he never yeah. spoke to the error but what yeah but see now we're talking about the case I'm just saying you know we, we've got to just I think 
and that's up to me as your chair, is to try to help direct the person back onto the task at hand that's going to help us understand what is needed. Uh, because, yes, people can get off on a tangent and it's not helping us reach a decision if we're not talking about anything that's relevant to the case. And that's really what's, it's, it's dependent on me to, to get us back there and, and get us kind of focused on what's going to help us come to the right conclusion. But I, I would agree that at times it tends to go off. And, and, and what I will say is, is uh, I think you probably all recognize it, it's not real easy to be up here and, and trying to make no sure. No criticism of you. No, 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 I'm not, but I'm, I'm just saying to, to, and I'm not, to get, listen, formulate my, what I think needs to happen and make sure it goes on the, the process the way it needs to. And, and, and I will get better at that. I mean, I think we're getting better as a board, but uh, it was a tough case and it did kind of drift off into directions that probably didn't help us, like you said, reach the conclusion that we needed to reach. All right, I don't know if we want to keep talking about this, but, but in general, but, but we had to look at this de novo, which means new. We weren't just deciding was this accurate or not. It was our responsibility as a board to look at the facts he presented, the facts she presented. So we did have to hear we were the we were the code enforcement officer. So we did have to hear everybody's side. Um, just like Thank yes, you, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we do. But I think what we also have to recognize is, and I think what Ernie's saying is, it's I, I do what can we, what, he's what what we can and can't approve, and that's where we need to focus on and not get distracted on things that it's not in the ordinance for us to really make a decision. I mean, we need to focus on what's in the ordinance that we need, and I need to make sure that, that we kind of stay focused on that, because ultimately that's what we have to, you know, our, our vote is on, <coughs> is there a, is there a, was the ordinance correct? Uh, was the decision by the code officer correct in accordance with the ordinance? Yeah. All right, I think, because uh, we want to get everybody off here and didn't want to belabor this, I believe, we have no other business, do we? Uh, just the motion to approve the July 18th minutes. Well, that would be helpful, it. yes. Thank you yeah. for getting me Otherwise back. Otherwise, you'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would we like, I would like a motion to approve the July 18th minutes. Do we have As one? amended. As amended. Make a motion to approve the, amen the minutes from July 18th. Do we have a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Further discussion? We all set? Mm -hmm. Gonna call for a vote. All in favor, please raise your hand. Five, zero. Now, I believe I need a motion to adjourn. Do we want one of those? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> My second. We got a motion and a second to adjourn <clears throat> the meeting of July 18th. Uh, all in favor? 